Hey folks, it's me again. Uh, going to try and keep this a really quick video. Um, I'm going to do a kit and keel. Oh yeah, I did the zombie dust and drop kit nate there about a month back, and I know I promised a great glass video on both of those. Unfortunately, that didn't work out, and nearly half of both of those batches is gone now. That should tell you how good they are. I will be brewing them again as soon as possible, and I will do the grain to glass for the second lot. Um, so yeah, so today, so I haven't done that in about six weeks. So today I'm going to do a quick kit and kilo ish. Uh, what I'm, whoopsie, what I'm going to be doing is this. You probably can't see it because my hand's covering it. But it's a Mangrove Jacks uh, Craft Series Session Ale. 3.6% uh, roughly, 2 out of 5 on bitterness. I'll be used 18 to 24, colour chestnut brown. Tasting notes, smooth dark and malty with hints of sweet stone fruit, soft bitterness and a lingering sweetness. With a subtle caramel aroma, the perfect Session Ale. A 1.8 kilogram pouch. So basically, um, there's a separating piece in the middle, separating piece of plastic, and on one side is the LME, and on the other side is the instructions and all the other stuff. Um, some of those, some of the craft series uh, do come with dry hop as far as I know. Um, don't quote me on that. This one definitely doesn't. So, that's 1.8 kilos. I'm going to be adding 500 grams of medium dry malt. Uh, I don't have an, an, uh, an EBC on that. And I'm also going to be adding dark brown sugar. Um, I'll work it out in a minute. I'll catch you again in a second. Back again. So I'll just give you a quick look. So in there now at the moment I have half the 500 grams of medium dry spray malt, uh, a full kilo of dark brown sugar and most of the contents of that pouch there. Um, yeah, those pouches can get a little bit messy and you do, I didn't, um, I made a boo-boo, I didn't uh, stand it down into hot water first to soften it up and so it's kind of got a bit messy on me but uh, I'm just heating up some more water there to wash out the last of the pouch and uh, catch you again in a minute right job done I'd say all totaled uh, it took about half an hour um, could probably do it a lot quicker but um, the hot water I was using I ate by several um, several tea kettles of water so it took a little bit longer um yeah i got it done i really like those pouches um but they can be quite messy and if you're filling them up with boiling water to get the remainder of the um extract out of it they can be a bit dangerous so be careful um use a towel and all that good stuff um but it took me two or three kettles of boiling water to um to clean the vast majority of the, of the liquid extract out of that pouch. So I did it up to 23 litres and it's somewhere between 25 and 30 C. Um, I always pitch on the warm side and especially when I'm dealing with a yeast like Mangrove Jacks because um, they can well tolerate it. Um, but the room it's in now is pretty cold so it's going to drop very fast. So 23 litres and it came out at 10.51. Now bear in mind that it says in the pouch it's supposed to be 3.6%. I'm started out 10.51, if it goes down to 10.10, I'm looking at about 5.4%. I'm not 100% sure, sure, should I leave it at 23 litres and 5.4%? Or should, should I throw in another couple of litres? Uh, should I bring it up to 25 litres and drop the OG a bit, keep it near the mark? 
what do you think? Let me know. Um, like, I'll be relatively okay to do that anytime up till tonight because it's going to be at least tomorrow before that um, mangrove jack cheese kicks in. Okay, guys, let me know what you think, and uh, we'll catch you the next time. So long go forward. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Jeez, I've got the shakes. I need a beer. Um, I almost forgot. What I also have is about 60 grams of Northern Brewer pellet hops in the freezer there. Now, they've been in the freezer since about September last year. Um, so we'll call it... They were 8.8% alpha acid, so we'll say they're down around 8% alpha acid now. Um, what do you think about using them as a dry hop on something like this session ale? I want to get rid of them anyway, and I'm not likely to use them in anything else for the foreseeable future. Uh, yeah, and they have been stored correctly all along, but just have about 60 grams Northern Brewer pellets. What do you think about dry hopping something like this kit, maybe around day four or five? Let me know what you think about that as well in the comment section, guys. It's long before.